when working in real estate investing, you want to make sure you have good sales processes, good sales techniques, good sales uh, scripts, I guess. So for example, if you're uh, looking at talking to motivated sellers, uh, there's a series of questions you want to ask. Now, I a lot of people use what they call sales scripts. I don't use a sales script. What I do is I have a checklist of things, and then I go through that checklist as part of a conversation I'm having with them. So I guess in sense, in a sense, it is a sales script, but not a fill in the blanks. Hey, blank, Jim, how are you today? Hey, yeah, I'm looking for properties in your blank uh, city, whatever the city name is. What I do is I just get on the phone and I just start talking to them, right? I talk, usually I start with something like the weather or the area. Hey, how are things down there in, in Vegas or how are things down there in Chicago or wherever they're located? And then I just start building a rapport. Oh yeah, the, how the, how's the real estate doing down there? So you're trying to sell your home, right? So tell me exactly what you're, you're trying to do. Like is your home in a good condition? Or I understand from the ad here, it says it's run down. You know, and I'm checking, uh, I'm, I'm putting a check mark beside all the information that I need, right? I need to know the house price. I need to know uh, how long it's been on the market. I need to know the condition. I need to know what uh, they think the renovation costs are. I need to know what their asking price is. So a lot of these check marks, right? Uh, and so you have this sales process in the form of a, a script or in the form of a checklist script. The other thing is you want to have certain sales uh, closing techniques like the assumptive sale. That's about the only one I know uh, where you say, okay, uh, so let, let me, uh, I'll send you over the contract right away and we'll get started on this transaction. Or uh, you know, in the case of my business, uh, yeah, give me your credit card and we'll, we'll get you started today, right? So there's a number of things you can do as part of the closing transaction. Then there's all these objections. Usually I write a whole list of objections that the people could have when trying to uh, do a transaction with me. And then when we're on the call, if they have those objections, I'm prepared, right? I can either just re uh, respond to them with the objection uh, rebuttal that I have, or I can look down the page because I usually have it in front of me and say, yeah, well, you know, you've got to talk to your, your uh, spouse or you've got to talk to somebody. Well, so why don't we get them on the call right now? Or let me book a call for, you know, tomorrow. Is that what time's a good time when you're both going to be available? Something like that, right? And the same thing on the motivated, uh, sorry, on the joint venture partner. These are people with money. You got to have good sales processes in place for them. Normally that's a pitch deck that I use where I send them out uh, or I sit down with them or I, I get on a call with them and I walk them through the pitch deck uh, and I explain all the uh, pros and cons because uh, there should be some cons. I mean, you want to make sure that you make them aware of the risk. But part of it is, you know, they are looking for an opportunity to invest in real estate. You got to make sure that they understand yours is the right opportunity for them. Okay, so sales in real estate, making sure that you have good sales processes and specifically for your motivated sellers and your joint venture partners. So if you like what you heard and you want more information on how to invest in real estate and to grow your portfolio really fast, go to invest.chimpellerin.com.